Well, welcome to the Big Demo Weekend 2010. We're here in Staveley in the Lake District, and I'm here with Trek and um, my friend Wayne, who's their uh, demo manager. And we're going to talk about some of their um, latest tech on their bikes, and also run through this wonderful range with the ABP. So I'm just going to hand over to Wayne now. One of the um, one of the key things to remember about the Trek full suspension range, uh, compared to a lot of other brands, is that we actually have one platform that runs throughout the entire range of our full suspension products. And a lot of the key features on these bikes are all the same, exactly the same throughout the different bikes, just tuned for that, that category of riding. So a couple of the real quick things here that you really, you know, really need to know that really makes Trek stand out of, above, uh, above everyone else. Um, one of the things to remember, it's a, uh, it's a Rocco actuated single pivot. Okay, it's, everyone's familiar with that. But there's a few other little things on there that make it completely different uh, to other, other brands. One of the things we have is this one piece Evo link on the top here. So we're not bolting two pieces together to make a rock link. It's one very, very stiff link that we've got. Made out of magnesium this year, extremely light and extremely stiff. Rather than bolting two pieces together, one piece. So it does makes it stiff overall. Does the magnesium fault go through every bike in the range? Does it, it goes all the way down to the eight. All the way down to the eight, all right? Yeah, the eight yep. there. That then bolts onto extremely wide. Um, making a really stiff rear end on the bike. We also have another feature which is uh, unique to us, which is we call full floater. Full floater effectively is uh, a way of mounting the shock between two separate links. And as you can see here, if I compress the suspension in this frame, the uh, link at the top will press down on where the shock would be, and the link at the bottom falls away. And what that does for us is it actually changes the leverage ratio throughout the stroke, and it means that you don't get that ramp up effect from the, from the air shock, and you get much like a, a coil spring feel out of an air shock. Um, again, another you know, unique uh, feature to the Trek products. And does that really help under braking as well? The, well, the full float is mainly about how the, uh, how the ramp up feels and how the, how the travel makes it, how it makes you feel bottomless throughout the travel. The braking effect, that all comes from the, the ABP. The ABP is the, the, the killer feature for the Trek range. What the ABP does, or active brake pivot is the, the full name for it, is it separates the braking forces from the suspension forces. So effectively, when you've got a handful of brakes on the trail, your suspension is still allowed to move up and down and actually continue to move. Um, so all these features here, you've, uh, I've showed you on this frame very quickly, are all present throughout the entire range. So that starts off with the, uh, the shorter travel bike, the, uh, the top fuel. So this when you think of the marathon bike or a very short travel uh, trail bike, four inches of suspension. It has a full floater, like we mentioned, ABP on there. Um, everything that we've, that we've mentioned. Then it goes up to the EX, which is the, uh, the five inch platform, 120 mil. This is your trail bike. This is your do everything bike. Uh, you can ride all day on there. Um, it also has another feature on this bike, which is something that's unique to Trek as well. Toby, if I can yeah, uh, no problem. bring you in there. We have what we call a DRCV shock. Okay, and what this is effectively, uh, again, it's all to do with making a linear feel uh, from an air shock. So make it feel like a spring, but the weight of an air can. And what we have here is two separate air chambers that give us a different ride characteristics depending on how far into the stroke we are. So in the short, uh, small bumps, the, uh, the pistons only work in a small amount and it's only using the, the bottom chamber, which is quite small. If we have a big hit, the piston pushes up all the way through the travel and activates the top chamber as well, giving us a high volume shock and getting rid of that ramp up effect at the end. So you couple this very linear feel to the full floater, which is a linear feel, and we've got something that almost resembles exactly a coil spring from something that's extremely light. And is this unique to Trek, this shock, is it? It's Trek and Fisher, um, but say on the, on the Trek bike, so it's something you can only find on proprietary Trek products, so no one else in the industry is going to have this as well. And has Trek worked with Fox in developing, in yeah, developing well, it's, this It's shock? our design, and Fox built it for us. So even though it says Fox on the can, Fox won't be able to sell you this shock, it is a Trek-only product. So that's found on the EX, and then you go through the range, continuing through, you also get the RCV and all those other technologies on the Remedy. The Remedy this year, very much an all-mountain bike, very pedalable, much quicker than last year, uh, a lot lighter, very, very confidence-inspiring bike. And then all those technologies continue up through the range as well. We now have the new Scratch, which is the, the free ride bike. Um, uh, again, this is a coil shock bike or air, depending on uh, what model you go for. That has all the same technology in there as well, with some extra Berlier technology going on. And we also have the Session as well, which is a bike we all know. Um, it's a very popular downhill bike now, winning a lot of races. 
uh, it needs no introduction really, but all the same technology of that top fuel goes all the way through to the session. And that's a you know, pretty unique thing in industry. A um, question I get asked a lot by customers is carbon and the fear of riding carbon on, on a mountain bike. How, how, what's your experience of it? Okay, um, there's no reason to be scared of carbon. Uh, the, the carbon we use is proprietary to track again, it's called OCLV. Um, and it's, uh, what that refers to is the process of how we construct the carbon. So the raw materials we use may be very similar to other people's carbon, but the end product, after it goes through our proprietary process, the end product is completely different. Now obviously, this here, this is a, a remedy frame, and obviously a remedy all mountain bike, it's designed to take some pretty big hits and knocks. So with that in mind, we've actually introduced something called, um, called OCLV Carbon Armour. And that has two different parts to it. Obviously, it well, three different parts. It has the standard OCLV carbon, which is then the second part is fortified internally. So there's lots of parts of these frame, this frame where it's actually fortified inside with extra layers of carbon, stronger carbon in certain areas. And then on the finished products, we'll have a, 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 a rubber casing on the outside, just on the down tube. And that will give us just that bit of, um, bit of protection, just cosmetically on the outside. But all the strength itself, comes from inside. That's from when you're throwing up the rocks. Yeah, see if you get from rock, the trails. rock strike underneath. Yeah, so yeah. obviously we don't want to we don't have any cosmetic um, issues there. So what we do is you just put a, a layer of rubber over the outside, but internally it's str it strengthened as well. So you actually find is the carbon is every bit as strong as the aluminium out on the trail. And we actually have impact te impact tests that are in line with the aerospace industry just to test that to make sure that this is actually going to be as strong as you say it is. And we were talking earlier just about the um, the warranty on these on the on the bearings. How, how does the warranty work out for Trek? What what makes it special? Well, obviously for the frame itself, we have a lifetime warranty for the original owner. Um, for any cosmetics, we have a year. But for the bearings themselves, that wouldn't really be warranty. That what we do is we have a lifetime free replacement bearings. So obviously a bearing is designed to wear out. That's what bearings do. Um, so if you're the original owner, we will replace those bearings for free for you. So not a warranty as such, but free replacement bearings. Okay, just while we're looking at this uh, single frame set here, um, there's just two features just that we're interested in. One's particularly this new direct mount uh, front mech. Do we um, see that's going to be a new standard from Shimano? Um, that's something that only, at the moment it's only on the, uh, the Remedy. It is a Shimano specific uh, mount on there, and it's something that we, at the moment I, it's only on this bike. We may see it on more in the future. I don't know until, we've, uh, until we see sure. next year's products. Sure. And then this device here, is this, is this for uh, chain, chain suck? Or? Yeah, all that is really is obviously if the chain derailed, and then uh, it was pushing onto the carbon. We wouldn't want to damage the carbon, so this here, just purely to keep the chain away from the carbon if you ever do uh, lose the chain off the chain ring. Just a bit of added protection there. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay. Thank you very much.